What is going on folks? I'm Noah from TechnoBuffalo.com and this is the Motorola Expert for Sprint, Sprint's first Android World phone. Let's check it out. Alright, it is the ultimate business tool, but it's also part casual and all smartphone. It's the expert. You can see this guy right here. He looks part casual. Uh, it's the Motorola Expert from Sprint and Motorola. Motorola, who is now Motorola Mobility, owned by Google, or I should say pending. Um, the uh, deal announced today, Monday morning, August, what is it, August what, 15th, something like that? Yes, August 15th. Google buying Motorola Mobility. Uh, the deal is not. It has to be approved. There'll probably be an antitrust, you know, inquiry just to make sure, whatever. But um, I didn't mean to sound cynical there, but you know, I don't know really if they would block something like that. But anyway, uh, yeah, Motorola Mobility uh, purchased by Google pending, you know, the deal being approved. But nonetheless, here it is. We'll see what that all means. The expert. Uh, for Sprint from Motorola, $99.99 dollars $99.99 on contract, two-year contract through Sprint, although uh, phone's been out for a few days now, a little while, and uh, already being discounted other places around the web. Uh, but in the box, you get a USB cable with a rubber band, probably yours will not have a rubber band, uh, micro USB to USB cable, and then your power adapter, it's modular, that way, it's Ecomoto, there you go. Also in the box, you get your getting started pack, your manuals, all your stuff, your recycling bag. Please recycle your old phones, electronics. Uh, you know, give the old phone to somebody who can use it, or if not, recycle it. Don't just throw it in the landfill, please. Here's the phone itself. Uh, it runs Android, running Android 2.2 Froyo. It's got a 1 gigahertz processor on the inside. It's a 3.1 inch display, 320 by 480. Uh, it is touch sensitive obviously capacitive they're all capacitors these days uh, you've got a physical keypad you've got your four um, capacitive touch buttons down there on the bottom on the back five megapixel camera with LED flash uh, on the right spine here you've got a single lonely button it's a shortcut button it took me did that take me straight to my calendar is that what happened Let's go back to the home screen here Yep, took me straight to my calendar. All business, all casual. There you go. Uh, on the other side, you've got uh, two buttons for volume up, down, and your micro USB port. On the top, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and your power lock switch. On the bottom, uh, your microphone sensor. And then on the back, you've got this thing, which I believe will uh, undo the back cover to get to your battery. But I'm not going to do that because I'm so bad with those things. Two gigs of internal memory, and there's a two gigabyte uh, SD card preloaded, expandable to 32 gigs. Uh, it's Flash 10 enabled. Uh, it supports Microsoft Exchange, ActiveSync server, uh, data encryption, AES, 256-bit AES data encryption, all that stuff. You've got Flash 10, you've got all the Android widgets, all the Android... Uh, apps, all that stuff, and then, you know, the last vestiges here of Moto Blur as well. And it is uh, a world phone, like I said in the outset, in the intro, Sprint's first uh, Android world phone. So there's a SIM card slot. You can travel around the globe with it. Also functions as a 3G hotspot. You can see I've got the uh, app right there for 3G hotspot service. This will significantly impact battery life, not to mention cost you extra in your monthly service plan, but that's all right. So this is just a review unit, so, you know, it doesn't really matter. Go, 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 go. Accelerometer on the inside. Uh, with advice like this, so, you know, mostly, uh, it's kind of, I have a couple friends who um, have corporate jobs who uh, have switched recently from Blackberries to Android devices, and uh, really happy about them, most of them. Um, and actually, the friends I'm thinking of all happy. When I said most of them, I was thinking of our own John Rettinger, who has uh, switched recently from an iPhone to a BlackBerry device. But that's another story. Uh, and for them, you know, they love the access to touch screen and the access to apps and the better web browsing and that kind of stuff. Uh, but the keyboard's still a big deal uh, for many, especially, you know, heavy business users. So let's take a look. We'll fire up a pretend text message here. And we'll see how the keyboard is. So, 
you know, pretty good. Made a couple of mistakes there my first time typing on it, but you've got this kind of dual beveled surface here. Um, you know, the keys kind of fan out from the center, and then you've got kind of a double slant here. A little bit, kind of a little weird to type on at first, but um, I think, you know, they're, they're kind of just big enough. I wish the space key was a little bit bigger, that's just me. Kind of just big enough that most people can probably adapt pretty well. Uh, you know, I wouldn't say this is, um, you know, the device is a little bit narrower than, uh, it's been a while since I used Blackberry, but than uh, Blackberry's as I recall, so a little bit more cramped. You got the voice search button down there, which is nice. Except it's not working. <laughs> Cancel, let's try it again. Tech, oh. Connection problem there. Maybe it's because I have the uh, the hotspot on. Let's turn that off. Or maybe it's just faulty. <whistles> Techno Buffalo. There we go. It's because I had the hotspot on, I guess. Uh, the phone has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. All that good stuff. Uh, you can use it with VPN. You know, it's a business class device here. Back to school giveaways. It's like I planned that. I didn't. But uh, we are doing, we kicked off a bunch of back to school content this week. Doing a whole bunch of giveaways. There might even be a Motorola phone in there. So uh, stay tuned. Coming up later this week, running all month. Check that out all throughout the month. The end of the month, rest of the month of August into the first week of September at least. So check that out. We're pretty excited about it. we got some, some great sponsors, AT&T, NVIDIA, Sonos, Sony. Uh, so check that out. But there you go. First look at the uh, Expert. It's lightweight. Feels pretty good in the hand. You know, when the Droid Pro first came out, I gave Motorola some grief for uh, this being their BlackBerry killer. But it's proven relatively popular. Like I said, I know some people in the corporate world who uh, use Android devices now instead of their Blackberries, and a few of them use the Droid Pro, really like it. This is kind of the next generation of the Droid Pro, and obviously it's on Sprint. Uh, the Expert, again, $99.99 with a two-year contract from Sprint, available now. Seen it for a little bit cheaper already other places online, so comparison shop. 3.1-inch display, 3 train by 480 Android 2.2, 1 gigahertz processor, 5-megapixel camera. But the big story here, you've got your touchscreen, you've got your full QWERTY board, and it's a world phone. It's not 4G. Uh, it's 3G with 3G mobile hotspot, and then you've got a SIM card slot for global roaming. Much, much more on the Expert. All the new phones, there's going to be a lot of them coming out, usually late August, things start to heat up. A lot of new stuff coming out between now and, uh, you know, now on Black Friday, basically, Thanksgiving, uh, for the holiday. Back to school and then holiday season in the U.S., uh, and then, of course, the whole story, developing story with Google buying Motorola Mobility. Interesting, interesting indeed. Kind of a defensive, offensive play from Google. Don't know what I mean? Go to Techno Buffalo, read the analysis. You'll understand. Until next time, my name's Noah. Thanks for watching. Thanks to the folks at Sprint for lending us this one. Bye-bye.